There's many lessons that snakes teach us and having kept them my whole life and loved them my whole life and been blessed by them and healed by them and meditated with them, I'd love to share with you what I've picked up. And if you are a snake carer yourself, you might resonate with this or if you're just the general public, then it might be curious for you to find out. So snakes, they are the ultimate meditators. They, they live 200% of life and I talk about living 200% of life on my channel, 100% in a still, calm, meditative, transcendental space integrating that stillness into activity and being very aware of what's going on in the environment and being able to act and respond with ease and efficiency. And snakes live 200% of life. They are transcendental beyond our imagination, but they also are very responsive. They're highly aware of everything that's going on in their environment. They know me and they'll know you if they met you more than you know yourself. I mean, I'm a moving tree <laughs> right now, but he loves my scent. He knows me very well. He trusts me and we've spent a long time together. And so he's taught me that you can live 200% of life. You don't need to be a space cadet and be, you know, out of your body and over meditated or smoking weed and just, you know, out of it. You can develop a stillness and be very effective. And so they show us that that is a possibility in life. And so they, they kind of encouraged me to go inwards and meditate because just by being around them, their energy field rubs off on you. I sleep with snakes in my bedroom. I always have a snake or snake tanks in my bedroom. And if I swap bedrooms, I notice the difference. The energy's different. It's the same with having cats in the house too. If you're sensitive to that, and a lot of people get very addicted to snakes. They, <laughs> they, they just don't know. They just have to be around snakes. It's hard to put into words, but when you get the snake bug, you can't get rid of it. Are you going to transmit a snake bug to people? Oh, yeah. So they're the ultimate meditators. They're the ultimate meditation teachers. They don't need a guru. They are the guru. They don't need to practice stillness. They are the stillness. And they're so sensitive to their environment, so sensitive to their environment. They always know what's going on in the atmosphere. So if there's going to be a fire in LA, I'll see is he in his water tank because he knows there's going to be a fire before there's a fire. And in India, they use snakes to predict earthquakes, to predict fires. So he's clearly got some special powers. He clearly knows what's going on in the cosmos, what's going on on planet Earth and probably beyond. I mean, I definitely believe they know what's going on beyond. They're truly tapped in. So I'm going to put him around my neck. And this snake is a safe snake to put around your neck because he doesn't grip very hard. Some do. And then you can't breathe. <laughs> when I used to belly dance with snakes, sometimes they would tear bits of my costume or strangle me sometimes. Not to the point where I couldn't breathe. 
but um, each snake is, is very different. But they're very, very, very strong. Oh, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Oh, he's here. They give the best massages. The best massages. So, yes. They teach you about stillness in activity. They teach you that if you are still, you can listen and know what's going on in the earth and that we can reconnect with what's going on in the earth and that we are always connected even if we think we're not. We have reptilian brains. And I don't, he doesn't like that. He's like, it's always seen as a negative thing. Oh, your reptilian brain. And that means you don't have control of, over your emotions and your responses. He has complete control over his responses. He knows that nature has made him perfectly designed as a predator and that he must keep the rodent population down. So if he smells a rodent anywhere, he's going to do his dharma, his purpose. Nothing stops him from doing his purpose. He doesn't care what other people think about his purpose. Oh, isn't that disgusting? Oh, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, anything like that. He follows the laws of nature. He does not s veer away from the intelligence in nature. So thank you for teaching me that, that we must all coexist peacefully. Oh, yes. He agreed wi with that. He's very tired. He's old now. How old are you now? Well, around about 30 years old. So he's, he's been around. He can live... 20 years in the wild at the most, possibly 30 years in captivity. And he's, you know, he's an old wise man, you know. You don't need to listen to a human teacher when you have a snake. You can just hold them and they will communicate lessons to you. And what's interesting is I've sometimes moved one of my snake tanks into the living room. And when my clients come to visit me for therapy or coaching, they're, you know, they started to get interested in the snake tank. And it was a test because I, I didn't want to, to scare anyone. But then over time, they'd be like, can you get the snake out? Tell me about the snake. Can I hold the snake during therapy sessions? And I have actually lost a few snakes to clients because they begged me over many months, please, can I take this one? I've fallen in love with it. And I've said, let's think about it. It's, you know, a, a commitment and learn about snakes before you make that decision. And, and they have actually taken some of my snakes and keep them at home, which is really interesting. I wouldn't have predicted that. Um, yeah. And I think that they choose their people, you know? I have one friend and she came to see me and she's like, I, I want that masculine, elderly, wise energy. And I said, oh, he's perfect for you. And she fell in love with him. And she said, can I have him, please? And so he now lives with my friend and has a girlfriend who I will also show on the channel. So he is living the life, living the life. Got a new girlfriend, people fighting over you. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't smell. And what's really wonderful is they're so clean. They don't really um, poop very much you know once once or twice a month and it's really easy to clean up yeah and so other lessons 
I will spread the lessons out in other videos. But the ones that came through in this video were about stillness and activity and connection with the environment. So he clearly wants to talk about that today and that's his messages, not mine. Would you like to share anything else? He knows how beautiful he is. <laughs> and he probably doesn't want to be a human. That's so overrated. Being a human is overrated. You kind of, he's saying you have dull senses. Like you don't get to experience the whole of life. Like if you had a snake physiology, if you had his physiology, you would be able to gather in so much more data on temperature and air and tectonics under the earth and what's going on in the universe and just it's just so much more of a viscerally interesting life yeah so he would not take a human body nah so overrated being a human but he comes onto the planet to teach humans that's why he's a pet snake. Thank you. Thank you for embodying as a snake to teach us. And I know how important you are. You're very, very, very important and valuable and beautiful. And it's important to praise them and tell them because they pick up on the vibrations of your voice. And so if you're angry, they will know that you're angry. They'll pick up on the vibrations. If you're happy, they'll know. So you even they even pick up on your thoughts. So if you're afraid, they'll pick up on that. Some get very defensive if you're afraid. All right. That's enough for today. Say goodbye.